The ASUS MIMO Pad ME172V looks like the bizarro version of the Nexus 7. Each is about the same size, although the MIMO is slightly heavier and not quite as thin. Aesthetically, the MIMO is missing the silver highlight trim around its screen, and instead of a smooth, comfortable backside like the Nexus 7, it instead has a bumpy, unpleasant feeling texture on the back. There is a one megapixel front facing camera, a headphone jack on the top, micro USB on the bottom for file transferring and charging, and something the Nexus 7 doesn't have, a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. But unfortunately, that's kind of where the similarities end. The MIMO has a 1024 by 600 resolution screen, which in 2013 is low. And it could be forgivable, but for the tablet's panel. While most tablets use IPS panels, giving them wide viewing angles, the MIMO receives no such privilege, and its viewing angles are horribly narrow. That's not that big of a deal when viewing the screen head on, but if your view gets skewed too much, things get really difficult to see. The MIMO houses a single core one gigahertz CPU, and while normal navigation is fast enough with some occasional hangs, if you're say downloading something while trying to play a game, even a 2D game like Angry Birds, performance is adversely affected. And more taxing games like Real Racing 3, it wouldn't even run without periodically hanging the tablet requiring a complete reboot. The MIMO does include several mini apps that run concurrently, but if you're running, say, the movie player and a browser, expect sluggish performance. The MIMO costs $140 for 16 gigabytes of storage, and it includes a micro SD storage expansion slot. For $60 more, the Nexus 7 offers faster, more stable performance with a higher quality, sharper screen. Now that $60 difference may feel like a lot if you're on a budget, but I feel it's worth it to simply pay more now and regret less later. I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the ASUS MIMO Pad ME172V.